Hello and welcome to Sustainable Public Procurement 101. My name is Mara Anhov and I'm Associate Professor in Public Procurement Law at the University of Copenhagen. I will have the pleasure to be your guide throughout this course. Let me start with a couple of organizational points. At the bottom of the video, you can turn on subtitles in one of the available languages. In the description box under the video, you can find relevant information and materials that will be helpful for your studies. These include links to the Stack podcast and references to supplementary readings and contact information if you would like to reach out to me. Now, on to the course itself. What is this course about? Let me start with numbers that have nothing to do with the law. Public procurement expenditures represents about one third of total governmental spending in OECD countries. In 2019, the United Nations collectively spent more than 19.9 billion US dollars procuring goods and services for its numerous activities. EU expenditures alone account for over 2 trillion euros, corresponding to nearly 20% of the EU GDP. These numbers clearly present that public procurement is a massive business. They make governments and international organizations one of the largest buyers in the world, equipping them with the ability to undoubtedly create, shape, nudge, but also distort markets, as well as impact society and significantly affect the environment depending on their selection of suppliers for public contracts. This course is about procurement. So what it is exactly, what we mean by public procurement. Public procurement is purchasing function a process of buying things. And those things can be products, works and services by a public buyer being bought by a public buyer from a commercial market using public funds. You may wonder, am I affected by a public procurement as a regular citizen? The scale and reach of public procurement will depend to some extent on when in the world you are. Let's imagine a scenario. You are in Denmark, a welfare state. You're a student living in a dorm, traveling to your university for your lectures. The dorm that you're living in has been constructed based on carried out procurement. The bus, the metro, train, or even the bike lane that you're using to get to your university has been procured. Similarly, the food in the university canteen, computers that you use in the university library, cleaning services of the building, electricity, internet, etc. All procured. Therefore, it is easy to see that public procurement outcomes are all around us on a daily basis. The relevance of public procurement came front and center in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Public procurement was the tool to buy defibrillators, personal protective equipment, and to procure vaccines. In this course, we will focus significantly and specifically on sustainable public procurement and more specifically on the law impacting sustainable public procurement, what we will refer to as sustainable public procurement law. 
Let's start with the concept. What is sustainable public procurement? It is a process that seeks to achieve a balance between three pillars of sustainable development when making purchasing decisions. Those three pillars of sustainable development are economic, social and environmental aspects. In other words, sustainable public procurement in that process, public buyer focuses on and prioritize the purchase of products, services and works that have the most positive environmental, social and economic impact possible over the entire life cycle. In practice, this means incorporating a sustainable perspective into the procurement process design by adopting social, economic and environmental factors alongside the typical price and quality considerations. At the same time, sustainable public procurement requires a change in how we understand price and quality. For example, sustainability aspects should be considered when possible as part of our quality assessment of what we buy. We should not apply the lowest price award criteria or solely look at the acquisition price but rather apply life cycle costing approach. Now on to the law. The focus of this course is on sustainable public procurement law, as I mentioned. We will specifically dive into European Union regulation of public procurement law and consider how sustainability can be embedded in procurement processes in legally compliant manner. We will also highlight the legal constraints in pursuing sustainability through procurement function. While this course focuses on the EU legal framework, many of the principles and approaches are present in other legal regulations outside of the EU particularly in countries that are part of the World Trade Organization Governmental Procurement Agreement. Also, the good practices and approaches shared in the course can be replicated elsewhere. I sincerely hope this introduction sparked your interest and I hope you will enjoy this course and find it valuable.